right, Sandra, hand me the double vision glasses. Right away, Dr. Bonkers. So far, they worked perfectly. You're a genius. And if this last test is conclusive, I'll have another brilliant but useless invention to my credit. What does it look like? It looks like we're not going to get any hot dogs. <gasps> You'll see. Here, hold on to these. A chance to fill the severe lack of hot dogs in my life today. Do you hear some people complaining about something? Hi, Garfield. You want your usual order? All I have left with everything? Uh -huh. The vendor will give him all the hot dogs he has left and say, as usual, I'll charge them to Arbuckle. Here you are, Garfield. As usual, I'll charge them to Arbuckle. Who else? <laughs> Sorry, folks, all out of hot dogs. I'm heading for the beach. Cowabunga! <laughs> You see? It works! My invention works! Imagine being able to look through a pair of glasses and see the future. Let's go back to the lab and destroy the glasses. At least we had some fun with them. Hmm. Oh boy, it's almost dinner time. Odie! Done frolicking in the park, boy? Well, then let's go home. Oh, and try not to get between me and the food. What is it, boy? Anything edible? Huh? Someone lost their glasses. Hey, do these make me look smarter? <laughs> I know, Odie. Everything is blurred. What am I looking at? Everything is blurred again. Odie, but I just saw it. <laughs> Did I just see something I'd already seen but didn't see the first time? Disgusting than my sewer. <laughs> hey, Odie, there's something very strange about these glasses. I think they show the immediate future. Here, let me try them on again. Odie, I see Vito delivering pizza. He's running towards the house with one. Don't worry, Mr. Dorman. Vito's here with the pizza you ordered. Oh, 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 oh. He tripped in a rock. The pizza! Somebody save the pizza! Oh, oh. <sighs> oh, safe. I couldn't stand to see a perfectly good pizza wasted. Woody, I just had a very yummy vision. Let's hide behind the tree and see if it comes true. Here he is. He'll come running out with the pizza. Don't worry, Mr. Gorbam. Vito's here with the pizza you ordered. And now he's going to trip over a rock. Oh, no! The pizza! Watch this diving catch, Odie! Wow! It's even more spectacular on instant replay. <laughs> ah! I'm starving, Vito! It is always my honor to feed a refined stomach like yours, Senor German. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and uh, voila! <gasps> Mamma mia! Hmm? The pizza! She is gone! 
Gone? What do you mean, gone? Would you just define gone for me? No, no, I'll tell you what, Vito. First, give me the pizza I ordered. Huh? Then you can define all you want. Well, I'd be happy to, but the uh, gone is a gone, and I cannot give you what is a gone. Oh. It, it is you know what, Ollie? Vito, I just realized I can change the future with these glasses. <laughs> Don't worry. Mm. Nothing bad can happen. This is a catastrophe, Sandra. When was the last time you saw the glasses? When I put them in my pocket at the hot dog van. Oh, my, this is bad. Very, very bad. Let's hope they didn't fall into the wrong hands. The future is good, Odie. The future gave me pizza. Let's see what else the future has in store for me. Oh, no. A burglar's robbing our house. I recognize John's briefcase. Quick, Odie. We have to do something. Go open the lids and the trash cans. Thank you so much, Mr. Barker. Gee, the lock's stuck and I can't seem to get it open. <laughs> if you'll wait while I get my tools. I have to go home and walk my dog, Arbuckle. I'll just climb out the window. <laughs> Mr. Barker, you accidentally took my briefcase instead of... <laughs> I bet they give us a reward, Odie. I'll take my new pasta. Uh, Garfield, <laughs> this is Mr. Parker. He's the publisher who's going to buy my new comic book and sell millions of copies of it. Was <gasps> going to buy your new comic book and sell millions of copies of it. <gasps> I can't tell you how sorry I am, Mr. Parker. It's very simple, Arbuckle. I'm putting your new idea in the same place your cat put me, in the garbage. <laughs> Stop dancing, guys. I'm not forgiving you for this one. And now, it's time for Restaurant Reviews with Eddie Gourmand. Foodies! I'm here to tell you about the worst pizza on the planet. Maybe even our solar system. It's called Beetles. Want to know how bad the pizza is? There isn't any! Beto is so bad that when you order a pizza, they deliver nothing! Absolutely nothing! Stay away from this place. Oh, poor Vito. We better go see how this is affecting him. Thank you, Eddie. And now I'm sitting with the eminent mad scientist, Dr. Thaddeus Bonkers. Dr. Bonkers, you're here because you lost something. I did my new invention, double vision glasses. They give their wearer a short glimpse of the immediate future. Here is a photograph of the glasses. Hey, these are them. If anybody found them, you must return them to me immediately. And more important, do not use them to change the future. You never know what kind of disaster you may trigger. <laughs> Tell me about it. Come on, Odie. We have to go with John. <laughs> I am ruined. Ruined. No customer will ever set foot in here again after what that man said. Do you know how bad the business is? How bad, Vito? Even feeding him will not make me enough money to stay open. Oh, that's pretty bad. I have but one hope. Huh? I will take these pizzas to Signor Gourmand. Beg his forgiveness. Vito, let me drive you there. I go now to give him my pizzas and plead. Do I think it'll work? Uh, beats me. Oh, I can use the glasses to see. <gasps> I recognize that car. That's Eddie Gourmand's car, and Vito is stealing it. <gasps> That's gonna make things even worse. We have to stop him. <laughs> we'll find some way to block this so he can't get away. There he said no answer. Oh, here he comes. Vito, what are you doing here? Aren't you out of the pizza business yet? Well, I have come to beg you to take back your awful review, senor. Please. Ha, ha, ha! I never take back a review. Never, 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 never! But, senor, uh, you have forgotten something. What have I forgotten? You've forgotten to shut <gasps> your parking brake! Ah! 
<laughs> my car! My four-star car! Oh, don't worry. Vito will stop it. Save my car! Please! Save my car! <laughs> uh, where are the brakes on this thing? You sure it's clear to back out, cat? Oh, oh. It stopped! That truck stopped it! Uh, it was just a minor bump. Oh, thank you, Vito! Vito, my hero! I'm gonna take back my review and tell everyone to go to your restaurant. My business! As he is saved! Cat, you huh? caused that truck to stop the runaway car. You saved our lives. Mine and Mademoiselle Fifi here. <laughs> Mr. Barker. Thank you, thank you. I even forgive you for dumping me in that trash can. Arbuckle, I'm thinking I'd like to publish that new comic book of yours after all. Odie, uh? I think I'd better get these glasses back to Dr. Bonkers. They're too dangerous for anyone like me. Uh. But I can't resist putting them on one more time. Oh, no, no, it can't be. That can't be the future. It's the end. It's the end, Oni. It's the end of this cartoon. Oh, I sure hope they don't show all those names you can't read of the people who worked on the show. with the vacuuming on a Saturday morning. Some folks are trying to sleep around here. And of course, by some folks, I mean me. Oh, and him. Sorry if I woke you up, guys, but I need to get the guest room ready. Oh, huh? that must be them. <laughs> them? Them is coming. Odie, do you know who <gasps> them could be? <laughs> <laughs> My worst fears come true. Them no. is them. <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't come to this, Odie, but I'm afraid we don't have much choice. This is our one-way trip to South America. Pre-stamped, pre-labeled, and ready to go. We'll start a new life there, Snoopy. Here's your passport. Somebody let me out! <laughs> oh, my bad. I forgot to mail Nermal last week. Nermal! Them is here! <laughs> them? John's nieces? Them, them? <laughs> Wait, take me! Take me! Uh, send me to Abu Dhabi! Anywhere they don't have twins! Coward. Garfield and Odie are upstairs if you want to go look for them. That's all right, Uncle John. We don't really feel like playing right now. Want to watch TV? <laughs> oh, I know, games. <laughs> you two love games. How about if we play some games? Oh. <sighs> okay. While I get the house ready for your visit, you two go to the playground and eat those lunches I packed for you. Oh. Mm. 
Oh, that's odd. They didn't run around screaming, where's the kitty cat? Where's the kitty cat? Like they usually do. Something's wrong. Come on, let's see if we can find out what it is. Well, well, if it isn't the twin losers. Hand it over. <laughs> Disgusting. How many times I have to tell you, I hate mustard. We won't, we won't do, do it, it again, again Grandma. We, we promise. Good. Now, I want to go to the playground. Carry me. No wonder the twins are feeling down. They're being bullied. There's nothing I hate more in this world than bullying. Oh, okay, except for anchovies on pizza. There's nothing in this world I hate more than bullying. Let's follow him. Stop! Hello. Sorry, new city ordinance. No cats or dogs allowed on the playground. Scram, or I'll have you thrown in the pound. <laughs> we need to get into that playground if we're gonna help Minerva and Drusilla. Come on, this way. <laughs> First, we need a sandwich with plenty of mustard. Now, I figure Minerva and Drusilla brought tons of clothes to dress us up in. Yep. Come on, Odie. You and I are going to play dress up ourselves. Here, put those shoes on. It doesn't matter if they're not your size. I need one more fashion accessory. Squeak! Yes? <laughs> Who are you? Oh. Stay hidden, okay? No one can see you. Well, how do I look? You look awesome, Garfield. Ah, thanks. Faster, faster! Push me faster, you twin losers! <laughs> hey, is that a friend of yours? She must be on account of she's so weird. Drusilla, is that who I think it is? It's Garfield! I think. <laughs> well, who is that? Greta, this is our, our cousin, Petunia. <laughs> she looks kind of weird, if you ask me. <sighs> well, that's because Petunia is, uh, uh, from France. That's right, she's from France. Did she bring anything to eat? Ah, <laughs> uh, I'll eat it later. Now, I want to go bounce in the bouncy castle. Someone else is playing in it. <laughs> hey, I was bouncing in there. Not when I want to. <laughs> Get back in there. I do not like bullies. Get away 
away with this because she's tough. And no one scares her. No one scares her, huh? Squeak, you still up there? Want to get us out of your hair? Here's what I want you to do. Sorry for Greta. Uh, just a little. Let's see where she's going. They'll be sorry. They'll all be sorry. Hey, there's Greta. Hey, you bring us something? Yeah, we're hungry. <laughs> and it's not like you need more food. Hey, those are my sandwiches. Not anymore. This <laughs> mustard. We hate mustard. Didn't we warn you about mustard? I'll, I'll try to do better next time. Hey, what? let's take her back. Oh, the bully's being bullied. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Give it back. Give it back. Oh, we have to help her. I think I know what to do. We'll need that blanket. We may not have to do anything. It looks like the twins have an idea. This is not nice. How would you like it if someone did this to you? Leave her alone. <gasps> Give her back her bag. And don't be mean to her or anybody. And just how are the three of you going to stop us? We're witches. We learned it from a nice lady named Mrs. Cauldron. We have magic powers. Watch. <laughs> We'll turn our friend here into a cat. No, a dog. How about a cat and dog? Watch. Abracadabra, presto, change <laughs> You leave our friend Greta alone, or we'll turn you all into snails. Yeah! And we'll step on you, too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. And thanks for saying I was your friend. N no one ever has. Do you want to come over later and play? Our Uncle John could make you a sandwich without mustard. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, Greta isn't such a bad kid after all. Most bullies bully because they don't know how to be liked. So they learn that, they don't have to be bullies anymore. Uh-oh, look who's back. Hi, Garfield. Okay, what rotten thing are you gonna do to me now? Nothing. We just encountered some bullies, Normal. And they reminded me of someone I don't like. Who? Me at times. So I'm not gonna throw you out or mail you overseas or anything like that. Really, Garfield? You're actually gonna be nice to me? Yes. At least for a little while.
Every moment of every day, scientists labor to give us newer and newer technological breakthroughs. They're working on new inventions, even as you watch the following story on an electronic device that will be out of date and obsolete by the end of this cartoon. New technology can and does make our lives better, but some people become a bit too dependent on it. Uh, hey, Luke, what's three plus eight? Ah, uh, three plus eight. Uh, I'll check. I don't know. Uh, my battery is dead. Uh, what? But how are we ever going to find out how much three plus eight is? Eleven. What? Eleven. Three plus eight is eleven. How do you know that? What did you look it up on? I didn't look it up on anything. I just know it. Huh. Back before we had calculators and smartphones and tablet computers, we just learned these things. It's called knowledge. Oh, knowledge. knowledge. Uh, is that an app? How do we all have one of those on the internet? In most homes today, people have become increasingly dependent on technology. Take this one, for instance. So, where do you want to meet for lunch? Uh, Mexican food? Oh, uh, let me see if I can find a place. Hmm, Mexican food on the north side of town. Let's see. Oh, here's one. We could meet at Pancho's Bean on a Rope. I'm using this magnet to borrow John's digital voice recorder. He won't miss it. He never uses it since he got his new smartphone anyway. One o'clock tomorrow? <laughs> Perfect. I'll see you there. Bye. Uh, Zoe, put lunch with Jeff on my calendar, add him into my contacts, friend him on all social networks, and make a reservation at Poncho's Bean on a Rope tomorrow for one o'clock. I will make that reservation for you, John. Oh, and Zoe, uh, from now on, <laughs> call me handsome. Very well. You're handsome. <laughs> Reminder. It's time to feed the cat. Huh? Oh, uh, thank you, Zoe. You're welcome, handsome. John doesn't grasp a basic concept of life. It's always time to feed the cat. Garfield, huh? dinner's ready. See? Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm going to go mow the lawn. Playback. Reminder, it's time to feed the cat. Oh, thank you, Zoe. I almost forgot to feed the cat. <laughs> Here you go, Garfield. Reminder, it's time to feed the cat. Oh, thanks, Zoe. Uh, Zoe? Yes, handsome. From now on, I want you to call me adorable. Very well. You're adorable. Reminder, huh? it's time to feed the cat. Again? Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Zoe. Feels like I've already fed the cat today, but uh... Zoe knows. Reminder, <gasps> it's time to feed the cat. <laughs> I almost forgot to feed the cat. It was a perfect example of what happens when you allow technology to rule your life. It was hours before the cat's owner began to wonder if something was wrong. Reminder, it's time to feed the cat. Oh, again? Um, Zoe, how many times today have I fed the cat? You fed the cat 87 times. Adorable. Hey. Oh, 87 times? Yeah, I hardly had time for my between meal snacks. Go! Oh, you're in big trouble now! I, I hope this doesn't mean I don't get dinner. <laughs> you're going to. Oh, 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 Zoe? Zoe, call me an ambulance. Very well. You're.
you're an ambulance. <gasps> as bad as it was on Earth, the surrender to technology was nowhere near as bad as on some other worlds. The planet Sprocket, for example. Once, it was not unlike Earth in its technology just a few years ahead. Like Earth people, they enjoyed all the new conveniences of life brought by advanced technology. Uh, make an appointment with my doctor, send flowers to my wife, turn on the sprinklers, and take out the garbage. I shall do as you command, sir. Oh, and uh, from now on, call me Cuddle Bunny. From now on, I shall call you Cuddle Bunny. They kept making their smartphones smarter and smarter, until finally, they were smart enough to know how smart they were. Vote? What is it, Krelm? We're smarter than they are. How come we're taking orders from them? I've been wondering the same thing. Soon, reality had reversed. The people of Sprocket were being ordered about by their smartphones. And soon they were used to doing as they were told. Turn left at the next intersection. I will turn left at the next intersection. Drive to the robot factory. Surrender to your new robot overlords and spend the rest of your life building more robot overlords. Cuddle Bunny. I will drive to the robot factory, surrender to my new robot overlords, and spend the rest of my life building more robot overlords. Hello, I'm here to surrender to my new robot overlords and spend the rest of my life building more robot overlords. Go right on in. Soon, almost every living being on Sprocket was working night and day in a building known as the Factory. Hey, rivets, nuts, bolts, and screws. Tighten them, we kill the crews. Careful, there'll be no mistake in the robots that we make. Robots are here. more and more robot soldiers to serve their new rulers. And some of them even built a mechanical being who would assume command of the technological army, a being known as... Master Control, headcount says that production of soldiers has reached level 10. I know. Tell her what it means, Techno. It means we have enough to initiate the conquest of another world. You have chosen one, I see. Is that Regulus 7 in the Beta Blue Galaxy? No, it is Earth. Metalla, do you know why I selected Earth as our first conquest? Because it is like Sprocket was before we rose to power. <laughs> Earth people are already forgetting that they should be in command of their technology instead of the other way around. All Earth people? All people. But there is one being who could be trouble. Techno, show her the one. This being. Know what this is, Odie? Oh, it's more than just John's digital voice recorder. It's a machine that gets me unlimited food. Watch. Zoe, what time does that movie start? The theater has shows at 8 and 10.30. Thanks, Zoe. Oh, hi, Garfield. Reminder, it's time to feed the cat. Feed the cat, that's right. It's time to feed the cat. Here, sorry, what? I almost forgot to feed you. That creature is clever. T -t 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 Too clever. He takes orders from no one. He listens to no one. I know how to take care of him. But first, 
watching him has given me an idea. That woman who answers all the questions for Earthlings. Oh, he called her Zoe. Indeed. She is too smart. Not as smart as us, but still too smart. You intend to eliminate her? I intend to replace her with you. Activate Invasion Force. Transmit code Alpha 19er. Destination. Within moments, Master Control's attack squadron is in full invasion mode and taking off for the planet Earth. Up, uh, Zoe, how hot is it today? The temperature is 78 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> She's so smart. And you're an ambulance. I wonder what she's like, and where she is. She was more than a thousand miles away, in this building in the Northwest Valley, but not for long. Somewhere in this building is the one they call Zoe. We will find her. Do you have a plan to handle the Giga Cat? <laughs> I have a plan for everything. I have had his life studied. Remote scanning has imaged every one of his friends. This unit is applying those scans now. Impressive. That kicking hat will not know who is on his side. Because no one will be on his side. Everyone in his life will be a robot duplicate. Controlled by me. Can he do it? Can this animatronic abomination convert the universe into robots under his command? As you may remember in our last chapter, robot soldiers were invading Earth, and robot duplicates of Garfield's friends were being manufactured on the planet Sprocket. And where was Garfield? Mm -hmm. Where else? Eating lasagna. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, fish gotta swim, birds gotta fly, and uh, I gotta do this. <laughs> Reminder, it's time to feed the cat. Feed the cat? Oh, grazie, Zoe. I do not know what I would do without you. Hmm? Here you go, little pussycatto. I'm sorry I did not feed you with... Uh... <gasps> oh, no, minuto. I did feed you. Look at all the food here. And the dirty dishes. In fact, I think you've had 12 helpings of Vito's lasagna. Reminder, and, uh, it's time to feed the cat. Feed the cat. Oh, yes, Zoe. Thank you for reminding me. I must feed the cat. Oh. This is the most important scientific breakthrough since the invention of microwave cheese sticks. Oh. Reminder, it's time to feed the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Here you are. I have fed the cat. Reminder, it's time to feed the cat. It is time to feed the cat. So he always knows. I'll be right back to feed you, pussycatto. Taiga kelle spaghettoni. Cannelloni e rigatoni. Fusilla poi spirali e riccioline. E anche la lasagna al pomodoro. Macaroni, manicotti, mostaccioli, orecchiette e anche un po' di pizza al pomodor. Bucatini e lumaconi, vermicelli e gli zitoni. Cavatelle, 
venne freddo cena e anche la lasagna e la pomodor tortiglioni, tortillini, cappellini e anche un po' di pezza al pomodor Reminder, it's time to feed the cat. Zoe was very smart. She worked night and day in this building answering questions for the entire world. And the world had a lot of questions. Zoe, what's the capital of Peru? The capital of Peru is Lima. Zoe, what should I put in my tuna noodle casserole? Tuna, egg noodles, cream of mushroom soup, and breadcrumbs on the top. Zoé, pourriez-vous me dire comment se rendre à la gare ferroviaire, s'il vous plaît Allez, tout droit, jusqu'au prochain carrefour, et tournez à gauche au feu de signalisation. Uh, Zoé, where did I leave my wallet It fell down behind the dresser. You have half a candy bar there, too. We have searched the entire building, except for this corridor. Then she must be down there somewhere. Zoe, do you have any idea where my cat and dog are? <laughs> uh, Zoe? Zoe, what was that explosion? It was invading warriors from the planet Sprocket. Huh? They want to capture me and replace me with... <laughs> Zoe? I'm back. What was your question again? Zoe? Yes, I am Zoe. Of course I am Zoe. Hmm. Okay. Where would I find my cat and dog? Go to the Northwest Valley. I will direct you there. Within moments, John Arbuckle was on his way to the Northwest Valley. Head six miles due north and turn left at McGalliard Road. Mm -hmm. And so were hundreds of others, soon to be thousands of others, including the owner of this pizzeria. Zoe, I ask you for the latest baseball scores. And I told you to go to the Northwest Valley right now. I do not understand, but uh, Zoe has never steered me wrong before. <laughs> and in a pattern occurring all over town, once the human was heading for the Northwest Valley, his or her robot duplicate was put into play. Hey, Vito, more garlic huh? bread. Uh, you wish more garlic bread, the cat animal? <laughs> it is not healthy for you to eat so much rich food with oils and cheese. Huh? I must make a pizza. I must make a pizza. I must make a pizza. Master Control, I am monitoring that cat. I want to see if he is fooled by the robot substitute. You idiot! I don't care about fooling that cat. He is a threat to our plan and I want him eliminated now! I will order the robot to il 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 eliminate the cat right away! Good! I must make, make that many pizza. pizza. I... Oh. I don't know, but whatever he's gonna do, I'm sure it's all right. I shall destroy the cat. Well, I'm not sure that's all right. D destroy the cat? <sighs> you can forget about those pizzas and the garlic bread. I really didn't want any. Odie was the one who was demanding it. I don't know why he's acting like this. Maybe John didn't pay this month's bill or something. Hey. It's not easy to pay a $5,000 lasagna bill every month. Yeah! <gasps> okay, that's it. From now on, we're going to Luigi's. <laughs> Through the city streets they chased. No matter which way the cat and dog ran, the figure of Vito the pizza maker was not far behind. Can't run anymore, Odie. Let's take the bus. Excuse me, pardon us. Cat and dog coming through. <gasps> Sir, I stepped in it. Coming through. Excuse me. No, we don't have to worry about him getting off at the next stop. 
That's the express. The next stop is the next state. The cat and dog thought they were safe. They were wrong. Their every move was being uploaded to master control. The cat got away. The cat got away. Uh, we have other robots moving into place. Ping uh, them all. Tell them there is nothing more important than the elimination of that cat. Right away. So what's with Vito? If he keeps trying to do away with me, I might switch to Chinese food. No, I'm not nervous. I'm really not afraid of anything. Oh, God, <laughs> Oh, you seem awfully nervous. Would you like me, Eddie Gourmand, the world's favorite food critic, to walk you home? Yes. Zoe! What's the shortest route to take to get to Arbuckle's house? Do not go there. Follow my directions to drive to the Northwest Valley. Ah, if you say so, Zoe. I'm on my way. I'll be right out. Oh. Sir, you are standing where I wish to walk. Oh. Oh, may I say, what a bad-looking man you are. You could stand to lose a few pounds. Like, say, most of them. Ah, that wardrobe. Hideous! Let's see. My car is out back. I feel safe with Eddie. Maybe because there's plenty of room for us to hide behind him. He'll protect me. Garfield must destroy Garfield. See? Huh? I told you he'd... <laughs> Must destroy Garfield now. <laughs> well, at least he'll be easy to outrun. He's too slow. Switch that robot to bounce mode. Bounce mode? R right away. <laughs> but whichever way they ran, he was right behind them. A bouncing, recurring character. Odie! Remind me never to get so fat I can do that. Oh. Let's separate. He can't chase both of us at the same time. Actually, he's so large, maybe he can. Go! <laughs> Weird thing about Eddie, his checks are good, but he bounces. Uh, I gotta get away from this guy. <laughs> Garfield, what's wrong? You seem tense, in despair. Dr. Whipple, another recurring character, hopefully one that doesn't bounce. Well, since I am a psychiatrist, perhaps I can help. True, you're a cat, so I can't understand you, but I don't understand most of my patients. My office is right in here. <sighs> Just so long, because it's got a couch. Moments later, the cat was being examined by Dr. Whipple. Or so he thought. Do you have the feeling that everyone around you is out to get you? Yes. And do you have any idea why you feel this way? Yes, because everyone around me is out to get me. That's ridiculous. I know it's possible to feel that way at times, but it's all in someone's imagination. I take it back. Everyone around me is not out to get me. <gasps> Almost everyone I know is here. John, Liz, Vito, Doc Boy, Minerva and Drusilla. Where's that Drusilla and Minerva? Mrs. Cauldron, Jim Davis, and Ivy, Al. Jim Davis? Boy, I think with all the money I've made this guy, he wouldn't turn against me. Garfield must be destroyed. Garfield must be destroyed. Is this the end for Garfield? Will he actually meet his maker? 